Hello friends, welcome to the course of Coding Writer for RESTful API development using SILD authentication. Inside this video, we'll create delete project API. If I back to editor, inside the last two videos, we have seen the concept of add project API as well as list project API. Now in this API, we'll create delete project. It means while calling our delete project method, we'll pass project ID into URL as well as the authorization token value inside header. So once we get the token value and from token value, we'll get the user ID. So on the combination of user ID and project ID, we'll delete the project data from our project table. So let's see in action. Back to editor. I will delete or remove these two lines of comment. So here, first let's read all about our authorization token value. So here, user ID equals to auth helper function and ID. And also we need to check that while calling this method, if we have project ID into URL. So here, let's if not empty and let's say project ID. If not empty, so in this case, we need to delete project. Otherwise, go inside this else block. Let's prepare a response that is response equals to inside this array let's say status equals to false message let's say project id project id required and finally inside this data key it will be an empty array now go inside this if block it means we have project id as well as user id so first we need to check that this project id actually exists inside our database so let's create an object of project model so project object equals to new project model after creating this object so first we need to check that exists or not so project object i will use where method pass an array here let's say user id equals to the user id from token or auth helper function and here let's say project id not exact project id it's an id column of this table so here let's id equals to and project id and we'll use first method so this line of code is going to return a single row data on the basis of these two conditions so here let's store inside a variable called project data and finally if project data is not equals to empty not equals to empty it means project exists otherwise go inside this else block here we need to create a response here so status equals to false and let's say failed to delete project or we can say project not found now go inside this if block it means we have a valid project on the basis of these two conditions so i will use delete method so project object and i will call delete method inside this delete look at intellisense we need to pass id but apart from id also we can pass an array value but at this right situation we don't need actually any type of array here because id is sufficient because it's a primary key so on the basis of id column we can delete any row from this table so what i will do here inside this method i will pass project id now let's wrap inside this if else block so if block it means project deleted so response and here let's say status equals to true message equals to let's say project deleted and inside data it will be an empty array now go here inside this else block it means a type of error or while deleting our project so here let's say failed to delete project so if i save all these changes and finally Let's go and wrap this if block, else block and after this if else block, let's return 
this response created and inside this let's pass our response variable one more thing that while calling this method we need to pass the authorization token value which means that we need to add our auth api filter means api auth filter while calling this route so go here inside this route and inside this third value of delete method let's pass an array here let's say filter filter equals to api auth so finally here we have our route development server already started so go to postman i will copy this url open a new tab pasting it here to call this delete hyphen project method we need to use delete request type also we can use the concept of method spoofing it means the request type will be post request type but dynamically we can change from post to delete request type so in this case while calling this method we don't need to pass actually post method because we don't have any data which we are posting to our server so delete method is okay so here from this drop down i will select delete here let's copy this route called delete hyphen project go here pasting it here instead of this list hyphen project so it will be delete hyphen project so and let's pass 100 number id but right now we don't have any authorization header here and we can see invalid access so what i will do i will make use of authorization header so go inside headers authorization generate a token with valid login details of user go inside headers authorization the first value will be bearer and the token value there is no body because inside this url we are passing our 100 number id it means project id so this time we have now authorization header here let's remove this id it means we are calling our method without any project id click on send button so here we have some exception that can't find a route delete api and i think that okay because while calling this method or route we need to pass a parameter inside url so here we don't have any data here so that's why it is throwing an exception here so let's pass 100 number id but as we know that this 100 number id does not exist with this authorization token value it means with this user id so let's click on send button and as you can see project not found so inside our database so as per record we have id equals to 2 means 1 and 2 so let's pass let's say that i'm interested to delete this second number id so i will pass here that is 2 click on send button and project deleted go to database click on reload button and as we can see that our second number id now deleted again if you try to delete that second number id which really does not exist inside our table now we can see project not found so successfully this is all about the use cases what we have handled while actually implementing the delete project api conditions inside this method so successfully now we have completed all about our second phase of api development including two modules first all about user authentication apis and finally we have now completed all about our project module so this is the end video of our second phase of api development but we'll discuss few things in our coming video as well so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day